Hello Magical Butterflies, this is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be the Divine Love Weekly Collective Reading for the week of November 22nd through November 28th. This will be general and can apply to all types of love connections. Please use your own discernment when watching this video and only take what applies to your love connection and let the rest fly. If you are interested in purchasing a personal guidance reading or personal guidance video session, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop is listed below. If you are interested in purchasing the decks I created and the Twin Flame music deck I co-created, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link below. My Instagram, my Facebook, my blog website, my Patreon, and my donation links are all listed below. The format I'm going to be using in this reading is very similar to the Twin Flame Experience and Soulmates Soul Flames Deluxe Guidance readings. The only difference between the two is that the Twin Flame Experience comes with channeled spirit baby messages. Let's get into your person's overall energy, their current headspace, and their current heart space when it comes to you and the connection. The deck I'll be using for this is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. And Mystic Moon, you can find her on Etsy. Page of Wands, Excitement and curiosity. So there's excitement this week. Your person is going to be very curious about how you're doing, what you've been up to, what you're doing now, and just overall how you're feeling. They're really going to be concerned about you this week, and there is an excitement of the air of them coming forward and reaching out. Judgment Karma Review. Judgment card is the number 20, which equals a 2, and 2 is about partnerships and balance. So I feel your person has recently had a judgment day. They've had some type of karma review, and now they are just ready to just have this new beginning. The wands is passion, judgment. I'm just really picking up air energy. So if your person is an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you are, this is a special message. But your person is getting ready to come forward. I just had a motorcycle go down my street. So that confirmed that. Yes, the chariot charging ahead, number seven. Your person wants to charge ahead. Now the number seven, I'm hearing seven months. So it could be seven months or more since the two of you have last seen and spoken to each other. But of course, take it as it applies, as this is general. But your person is ready to start moving ahead. In their headspace, they see you as the empress their divine feminine and they're very attracted to you and they're ready to birth something new with you this week twin flame connection the lovers so this could be significant if you are in a twin flame connection but your person is definitely feeling the vibe between the two of you they no longer can deny this connection they may actually know what a twin flame connection is or they may not but of course, take it as it applies. This is general. But your person recently went through a painful ending. Now, this could be a breakup. This could be just a cycle closing. Swords energy again. Definite air, air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So your person is ready to start something new with you. In their heart space, they want to bring clarity to the seven of swords deception that they have done to you in the past i'm hearing ghosting and they are they're coming up with a strategy on how they can come forward to you because they want to show you that they are no longer in this four of pentacles scarcity mindset energy and that they actually in their heart have evolved and they love you and they want to come towards you they want to show you that they are the king of wands and they're ready to cross the battle lines, walk through fire, and to protect you. And your person wants to message you, and they may message you this week. This will not be for everybody, but for a few of you, you will get some type of message from your person. 
Now they could actually text you, email you, send you a message through social media. You might actually run into them, see them. It could be just a telepathic message, but a message is coming through this week that is going to confirm the love that they have for you. So if you have been doubting this week, you're going to get confirmation that what you have been feeling intuitively is correct. So that is what I have for this section of the reading. The next section is going to be the blocks, the obstacles, the conflicts, the challenges that are currently happening or will happen or may happen this week in your love connection. I'll be using the Twin Flame Shadows by Mystic Moon and I will get a guidance message on how to clear each one that comes up with the Power of Surrender cards. So I'm hearing there's two. So the first one is envious. So if you are in envious energy, or maybe you're seeing people around you come into union, go into the next level of their relationship, maybe they're meeting someone, falling in love, getting engaged, getting married, having a baby, and you're happy for them, but at the same time you can't help but feel sad because you just don't understand why this isn't happening to you. This energy has to be released because when you start to see it happen around you, that means it's going to happen to you. So it's time to surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So surrender the stress. Surrender the stress you're putting on yourself when you get into this energy. And just imagine when you're sitting and you're just concentrating on your breathing and when you exhale imagine this energy leaving your body and you're now calm and your shoulders are loose and you feel very serene and the inner peace is back and then you can truly be happy for someone because remember if unions are happening around you that means it's going to happen to you sell out this is your person they feel like a sellout for the way they treated you in the past and they are working on or have worked on forgiving themselves because they have or they will surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So surrender to inner peace and your person is surrendering to inner peace. So you can take this too to help you with the envious energy or both if you resonate with both of these blocks, but your person has found inner peace or will be finding inner peace this week or in the upcoming weeks to get out of the sellout energy. And the last block is distant. This is both of you. You both are very sad about the distance between the two of you and you are ready for this distance to come to an end. So the guidance on how to get ready for this distance to end, the first message is surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So surrender to play. Surrender to being playful, to being flirty, to being open, to being light and happy, to allow this connection to come back into fruition and you also need to surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you so if you surrender to spirit surrender the situation to spirit you surrender your stress and you just allow things to unfold naturally because you see that sunlight on that card that shows me a new beginning is going to happen for a lot of you in love but it's just a matter of allowing it to happen naturally, not having attachments to outcomes, expectations of your person, how things are going to go and be attached to a timeline because it may happen this week or it could happen six months from now because all of my general readings are meant to be timeless. That is what I have for this section of the reading. The next section is going to be guidance. I felt really called to use an affirmation deck to get you guidance for this week. So I'll be using the Shine from the Inside Oracle deck by Brittany Carmichael. You can purchase this deck on Amazon. And 
These are just going to be affirmation messages to just bring you guidance, advice, what spirit wants you to know. And of course, any action you might be guided to take either with this love connection or your own personal journey of self love and healing. So your first message is release doubt, let go of fear. So it's time to release self doubt and let go of fear. It's time to stop listening to the ego and tune in to the intuition. When you truly tune into the intuition, your third eye is open. It's balanced and you just trust and you're at peace because what you're feeling, what you're sensing, what you just know, what you're getting from signs, synchronicities, dreams, thoughts, just things you see in your, your daily life are all pointing to this connection coming back around, but you have to believe it. So if you struggle with intuition, there is an amethyst crystal in the back. Amethyst is a beautiful crystal to use to help you get in balance with your intuition. You can carry it with you. You can keep it around you. I always like to have amethyst around my bed while I sleep. And you could also wear it as a piece of jewelry. Your next message is you are pure magic. So divine feminines, especially you are pure magic. Your thoughts create your reality. So what do you want to create and what magic do you want to create in your life as well as this love connection? See how she's looking at the world. You have the world at your fingertips and it's all about what you want to create and what you want to bring into your life. Align your actions with your intentions. So intuition, the third eye. Align your actions with your intentions. So your intentions are very simple. You want to be with your divine masculine. You want to be with your divine feminine. So do your actions, do your thoughts. Do the way you feel match your intention because if you are not a vibrational match to what you desire, it cannot come into fruition. It is law of attraction. Ask, believe, and receive. When you ask for something, you believe it's already in your life. That way you don't focus on how it's going to come to you and you receive it in divine timing. And your last message is let go of control and relax into flow. So releasing control. Don't try to control the outcome because the outcome is never going to be the way you envision it. It's always better. Spirit has a plan for you. Trust. That's why you have to align your actions with your intentions by allowing things to unfold naturally, knowing your pure magic, knowing that your thoughts create your reality, and releasing that self-doubt, letting go of fear, tuning into the intuition will help you stay at inner peace, will help you surrender the stress so you can start a new beginning and allow things to unfold naturally in your love connection. The next section is going to be possible future energy. So this is possible future energy on how this week may go in love or just in the future with your love connection. Now this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen if you and your person do the work, follow your guidance and make the free will decision to come together. The deck I'll be using for this is the Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon. Messenger, tweet, tweet. So a message is coming. We saw that with the Page of Cups energy in the beginning of the reading. So your person is really going to send you a message for a lot of you. It could happen this week. It could happen in the near future. Your person is going to show you that they have learned the lessons of their past actions and behavior. And they are going to tell you that you are their ultimate fantasy, that you are their true love. You are the one they want to be with and that they want to protect you because they're in love with you and they see this as a twin flame divine partnership. But of course, if you're not in a twin flame connection, this could be, they just see you as their soulmate or just a divine partnership in general. And your person is going to come in to sweep you off your feet and grow and build something new with you. So this is on the horizon. This is faded. This is destined to come back for a lot of you. So again, allow it to unfold naturally. Trust in divine timing and trust what your intuition is telling you. 
your intuition is on point when it comes to this love connection as well as any other area of your life so i'm going to close out this reading with channeled messages from your person's higher self to you and get a channeled song from their higher self to you for the messages i'm using love journey by bridget rao divine essentials and for the song is the swan butterfly twin flame music deck that i co-created with my soul sister samantha rodman so your first message is you'll be in my heart until the end so there we have the swans again divine partnership love we need to rewrite our history so a second chance and remember a second chance doesn't come about every day I have an idea let's light each other up that's a great idea because that means your person wants to bring love and light to the connection and I'll keep you warm this is perfect for those who live where winter season is your person just wants to hold you by the fire and keep you warm I'm actually hearing the song cool night the lyric is oh, it's gonna be a cool night I just want to hold you by the fire so I'll link that song below. It's an old song, so I'm probably showing my age with that song. It's from the 80s, but it's a really beautiful song. And speaking of song, here's a song from your love counterpart to you. I Never Told You. This is by Colby Kaylate. I think that's how you say her last name. If I'm butchering her last name, I'm sorry, but I will link that song also for you below. But I never told you what I should have said. No, I never told you. I just held it in. And now I miss everything about you, can't believe that I still want you, and after all the things we've been through, I miss everything about you. I do hope this reading brought you clarity and guidance on what this week is bringing in love. If this reading resonated with you, please give this video a like and let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. It means so much. Love and light.